Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malaco. It's the week 14 update on the growing of my beard for an entire year. And today, as we pass the three month mark, I want to recap on some of the things that I've learned from growing my beard the longest it's ever been so far. I've never had a beard this long before. The longest I've ever had it before this time was just shy of three months before I had my first trim on it. And even then, I was still kind of shaping and trimming it myself before this. And so by doing this series where I've had to go without any sort of trimming up until this point, I've learned a lot of different things about my beard and about facial hair in general. The first thing I've learned is that the hair grows a lot faster than I thought it would. I was expecting to get to this point and have a pretty neat and tight beard. I wasn't really expecting this sort of puffy wild man look right now. I know a lot of you in the comments have uh, problems where it's not growing as fast as you thought it was. Well, this is the opposite side of the coin. This is growing a lot faster than I thought it would. I thought I would get to the one year mark and it would probably be, you know, maybe here but I think we're gonna look at something that's more down here. Ah, probably not, but we'll see. Either way, this is going a lot faster than I thought it would, and this is really only one-fourth of the way through. I've still got the six-month mark, which is gonna be the big one, and then from there on out, it's gonna be big beards all day, every day. The second thing that I've learned from growing my beard this long is that my mustache is not terminal. For the longest time, I thought my mustache length would kind of just stop right above my lips and then just stay where it was. I'd never really had a long mustache before. I'd always wanted one. A few weeks ago, I talked about how I want a mustache like Tom Hardy's. Originally, I never thought that was possible, but after growing for three months, I think, you know, it might be in the cards for me. Maybe not at the age of 23, but by the time I'm 30 or at least his age, I think it might be possible. The point is, a lot of times you're not really sure what you can grow until you grow it. You have to go farther than you've ever gone before. And this series has really taught me that that's something I really needed to let myself do before. Because I'd always sort of just trim my mustache once I trim my beard. I never really thought much of it. It wasn't really growing as fast as I wanted. The beard would grow so much faster and it would look awkward. And, and I really didn't see any reason to keep it growing. But now that I've limited myself to really maybe a handful of maintenance trims throughout this series, it's really shown me that I am able to grow much more than I thought I was able to. So before you go ahead and pick up that trimmer or you grab that razor and start shaving in lines or trimming up that mustache or squandering the potential of what could be a really good beard or a really good stash, Give yourself some time. I always say that patience is key. And that couldn't be more true than with my mustache. And these three months have shown me that patience has been a virtue. And it's showing me that my mustache is getting a little bit longer. Of course, it's still a little bit scraggly and it doesn't connect here and there's weird sides over here. But this is the best I think it's ever looked. Of course, I can style it like that and it can look fine, you know? But if I'm ever going to get to that point where it's completely covering my lip like Eric's or Carlos's or Greg's or Jeff's or Tom Hardy's, I have to continue to let it grow. And these three months have shown me that. The third thing that I've learned, and this is probably the most important out of all of the things that I've learned over these past three months, is that you have to take care of your beard. You can miss a day, maybe two days at most, but you have to stay on top of a beard. If you want your beard to look really nice and really well kept, if you have thick, coarse, curly hair like me, you have to stay on top of it if you want it to look neat. Now, let me reiterate something that I've talked about in other videos. If you want to grow your beard out, maybe along with me, or just starting now, or maybe you already have a beard, and you don't want to maintain it, and you don't want to put any products in it, and you don't want to trim it, and you don't want to do anything, that's completely fine. I'm not trying to push anything on you guys with these videos. I'm not trying to force you to do anything with your beards. I'm just offering my own advice and my own insights. And to get to where I want, which is a neat beard, I have to maintain it almost every single day, if not every day. That means oil or balm, and then washing it and softening it every few days. You don't wanna wash and soften it every single day 
because that can end up actually drying it out. I've learned that I need to brush it daily and use a comb throughout the day when I have some free time. I've learned to not pick at it so much. Before in the past, I've picked out entire sections of my beard just by pulling on the hairs. It's not a conscious thing that I do, but now that I'm on camera once or twice a week, I really started paying more attention to how I look and how my beard looks in certain parts. I've even pulled out a little bit of this, but had this been my beard without the series, this part probably would be completely gone. So this three months and this series have taught me that you need to care for your beard and you need to watch out for it. Because if you take care of your beard, it'll take care of you guys. I don't mean to be all weird, but that's really the reality of it. It's like with anything in your life. If you take care of it, it'll last and it will look great. All right, that's all I have for you guys this week. Let's bring it on in for the close up and you can see the progress of my beard 14 weeks in. Thank you so much for watching as always. I appreciate the views and the comments and everything else that you guys are doing. You guys have made this series one of the most awesome things that I've ever been able to participate in. And I look forward to filming it every week and seeing how you guys think my beard's coming in. And I love seeing that you guys are growing your own beards too, it's awesome. I think a lot of us are going through the same thing right now and I think this series is great because you guys can follow along and we can learn things from each other. There's still plenty of things that I need to learn as evidenced by this video here. So before I head out, I wanna mention a few things guys. First of all, if you've noticed this shirt, this is actually not one that I just randomly found. This is from uh, one of our collaborators, Drew Tires. If you've ever checked out his channel, Drew's Obsessions, he is selling this shirt right now, the Project 365, because he just finished his gear. So if you wanna support him and what he does, go check it out. I'll post the link in the description and maybe pick up one of his shirts. I love it. Also, we're throwing a party pretty soon. That's right, Celebration by Beard Brand is coming up. I don't know if you're subscribed to our newsletters. If you're not, go ahead and check out our website. You can sign up for that. You can get all the awesome latest news from Beard Brand, and that'll tell you all about the celebration that we're having on March 14th. It's gonna be free for you guys. It's a celebration for the fans. It's gonna be awesome. I'll post the link in the description down to that too. You can check that out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep on growing. Beard Brand is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.